All right, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a stock here today that if you buy it at these prices, in my opinion, long term, this is an easy money stock, dude. This stock right here, I'm gonna talk about the risk, the risk to reward ratio is just nuts, in my opinion. So I'm gonna be going through all the reasons why I think it is here today. We're gonna to be running through the numbers and essentially looking at how the growth is looking like for this company how they're doing today and all of that so the company or the stock is corsair gaming now somehow with the nasdaq being up insane here today at two percent the stock's actually down it's at what 31 dollars it fell two percent at the lows and dude this stock is very weird it was literally stuck at 31 dollars i'm not even kidding so there's a a lot of sketchy stuff going on with this um, co company here. So um, right before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. We're at almost 900 subscribers. We're really close to 1,000. So if you guys watching here can just subscribe to this channel, that would be really appreciated and it'll mean a lot. But yeah, here, for some reason, the stock just, just, just started to run. Now, if we look at the, I feel like there's a big short going on with Corsair. That's why it's kind of manipulating the stock because I have no reason to believe this stock would be frozen at $31. Look, if you look at the average volume and the volume today, it's about average, right? 1.9 million, if everything, the volume here was more. So it's kind of sketchy that what, what's going on with, yeah, this is a very sketchy thing, especially with almost zero news with Corsair, zero news. And it's pretty flat. So that's kind of interesting. But essentially, if you don't know, if you haven't seen my past videos, man, Corsair makes um, they own Elgato, right? They own the streaming. Um, like basically, if you're going to stream, you're going to use their products, right? They have like green screens. They have hardware to actually stream. And then Corsair actually does uh, like gaming components or computer components where if you want to build a computer, basically 40% have 40% market share on the whole computer builds. So if you're looking to build a computer, most likely around 40% of the products you're going to use are going to come from Corsair on average. And they have insanely good reviews, right? They have really good reviews all around. They're a really solid company. They're about $3 billion in market cap. And man, so basically, if you think gaming and, and streaming is going to grow, then this stock is a no brainer. Look at this 16 4 P. If you don't know, currently the average 4 P is around 25 to 30 in the stock market, maybe a little less than that. If you're looking at 4 P's, right? It's about 20 to 25. Now, this is at a 16 forward PE here today. And if you want to account for all their, um, the growth they're going to have this year, that I think they're going to be better than what they're saying. And if you account for the um, cash they have on hand and all that, this is under a 16. This is at a 15 something forward PE, which is stupidly low. If you're accounting, if you give this stock a normal valuation today, it's double what it's at here today. But anyway, this company basically, um, they do their main thing, in my opinion, is I think they're going to grow very highly is the Elgato side of the business where basically they do um, all kinds of streaming products where they have um, they have microphones, they have even cameras they're starting to do. They have integration where you can actually um, when you live stream, you can actually have like a stream that could basically every single streamer uses. But yeah, this company is growing insanely. They just grew 60%. If we look at the Twitch statistics, basically it's been growing. You would think that with everything opening up that a lot less people are going to basically live stream and watch live streams. Not true at all. Look at this month over month. It's growing insanely. Look at this. They went from 3 million to 3.1 in just a matter of a month. And basically live streaming is growing so rapidly that Corsair is basically the forefront of, right? There's over a hundred thousand live channels. And basically I would safely assume that a big or a chunk of that all use, um, at least one of them use Corsair products, if not their keyboard, if not their like streaming stuff. And yeah, I mean, look at this. You will see that the most popular TV channels have around 7 million, 6 million, 5 million. Twitch currently has more than that. And on a Monday, Twitch has 5 million viewers. That's literally more than television. Like that's more than how much people watch TV. So if you don't think this is going to grow in the future with Corsair, then that's kind of um, you got to wrap your head around that if you want to understand how well the stock can do. But yeah, that is just incredible opportunity. But let's see what they can actually do um, in the future, right? So they have currently, a, um, if you look at, they have them growing 20% this year. I think they might even grow a little more than that. 
And then for 2022, they think Corsair is only going to grow 7%. Yeah, dude, they're going to do way. I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to grow way more than 7% next year. Just for the fact that um, how fast they're moving, how fast they're pipe, like pumping out products and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to be way better than that. But even if they do grow that much, the stock's already so underpriced that they could might as well grow negative revenues and the stock would still be undervalued. Um, so this company's basically a no-brainer stock here today i was expecting this stock to be up five ten percent here today with the nasdaq moving two percent but man the stock is flat here today i picked up a good amount of shares of this stock corsair and i'm definitely looking to add more if the stock stays at this point man i, I was making videos on corsair a year ago now like a little less than a year ago maybe october november time i made a video on it and then the stock started shooting up to 30s 40s but even I said back then, you guys can rewatch those videos. I said, if this stock's anywhere near $30 a share, this stock's easy money. But I didn't think that would happen. And then as we saw, as it's been falling, not only has this company beaten the expectations that I thought they were going to do, the stock's fallen. So, dude, this stock, in my opinion, is easy money, man. Let me know if you guys are investing in Corsair, but I think um, this stock's a no-brainer. As far as what it's doing here today, dude, this stock was so flat at $30, $31 a share that I was really surprised. If you look at the short interest, it's about 17% short, but don't be surprised if this number jumps up next time this updates. If you think this um, company's not shorted even more, because it's very sketchy that this company with the NASDAQ going up and even the S&P going up, that this company's flat, like you usually don't see this type of movement. There's a lot of sketchy stuff going on. But as this company grows, I feel like um, as it even matures in the stock market, because this is a newer stock, it only IPO'd less than a year ago. So I think as this company matures and shows what they can do, what kind of numbers they can put up, it's going to be very interesting. Another thing is there, um, a lot, so one thing from the earnings call that was very interesting was the guy talked about like inflation and stuff like that. And he actually said that because their business has the the way they're set up is their products yeah they have a lot of costs where like ram let's say is one of their best-selling products they actually have to pay money for the ddr4 ram for example that memory is a cost but the fact that they like design it with their brand since they have branding behind it they're able to basically keep their costs the same and their margins pretty good because of their um, basically up mark or they charge so much but like these lower tier companies that sell ram they're going to be kind of screwed because they're going to be forced to raise their prices up. And at that point, you're going to be like, OK, I might as well buy Corsair. Why would I buy that off brand company if their RAM is really expensive when I could buy this branded product for maybe 20 percent more? So I feel like um, Corsair is, is actually might benefit from this inflation um, or this like short term um, rising in prices. So I feel like that's going to be very interesting to see there. But yeah, man, as long as streaming and um, gaming grows. This company is a no-brainer. Definitely make sure to check it out, man. If you haven't um, checked the stock out, definitely make sure to do so. It's kind of random that this stock randomly just started shooting up. I feel like if this stock suddenly gets a really good news and then Wall Street starts buying it, this stock's going up to 40 bucks a share just like that. I feel like th there's so many shorts this stock, um, so many people shorting the stock that, yeah, it's very interesting. And I mean, the CEO, if you listen to him, he's a very smart guy, dude. He's been with this company since basically the beginning forever man i feel like i think he's been with this company since um like since 2000 something like 2004 or something man so he's been with this company for a freaking long time um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you're buying Corsair stock make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already we're almost at 1000 subscribers and i'll see you on my next video